Sorry, but I'm going to leave out the Aquaman-esque talking to ants because that's a story for another time. My ability to talk with fishes of no help, Wonder Woman. Six reasons why Ant-Man's powers are more interesting than any other Marvel heroes. Number one, the uses of the powers. Look, basically every other Marvel hero's powers are just in the way to fight or to fly. Ant-Man's shrinking and growing abilities can actually be used for things we don't often see in superhero movies. Because it will actually change how he interacts with the stuff around him. And it's not just another way to punch or shoot something. Number two, the story. The only way the other powers are made compelling narratively is by having different backstories for how the characters got them. Which is all good, don't get me wrong. But shrinking lets for different things happen in the present. Well, mainly sticking into place covertly. Maybe doing an inside of someone's body and fixing something type of subplot? Welcome to Anatomy Park! Or similar to that, but with machines, like when he dismantles Falcon's wings. Number three, shrinking and growing other objects. The fact that you could keep a tank on a keychain like King Pym did and have it grow to be a full-size tank, that's awesome. As well as when they're making things giant when they're fighting in the daughter's room. Number four, how it looks on screen. The way everything looks when he's shrunk represents his powers in a way where we really get a sense of how big the world is to him. It makes things that normally aren't scary really frightening. And it makes things that are mundane normally seem awesome. Also, it's played for some good jokes, too. You dive small, then you emerge big. Ow. Number five, just the right amount of power. Look, I love watching Hulk, Thor, Iron Man, and their huge epic fights, but they are basically, and well in Thor's case, literally, gods. They're invincible. They can't be really be stopped by any normal person. They're so overpowered that it's hard to have compelling fights without it being on a huge scale. On the other hand, Black Widow, Cap, and Falcon mostly fight just like people do, with guns or fists. While there's some really well choreographed scenes, they can't really do much else interesting. That just any other action movie couldn't do too. Ant-Man is the right spot in the middle. It can be intimate and small scale, no pun intended. It can be a focused one-on-one -on -one fight, while also very, very compelling. I do still really enjoy the other types of fights too, but it's good to have this. I'm Ant-Man. I know. It wasn't my idea. Number six, the genuine risk with going subatomic. The fact that if he shrinks too small, he risks getting stuck in some weird quantum field where time doesn't exist is an interesting aspect of his powers that can make him have to make some really tough choices and really force him to weigh what he values more. They can do some character moments while also putting really artsy visuals on screen you don't really see in this type of movie that really represent how weird he feels down there. Those were six reasons why Ant-Man's powers were most interesting in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Like and subscribe. I have a link to my videos on why 10 Cloverfield Lane's ending failed.